hey guys welcome back to coding stuff and in this video we'll see how we can implement staggered grid layout in android studio so i have created one empty project as you can see and in the activity main we'll get rid of this text view we'll drag one recycler view over here so let's just drag it constraint it horizontal in parent and vertical in parent let's give it a width as 0 dp match constraints and height as 0 dp as well so let's give it an id so i'll i'll give it id as the recycle view then we'll go to the main activity we'll create one late init where recycler view type of recycler view so let's just create one init function so init we'll call it we already call it over here and we'll create it over here so private fun in it inside this we'll find id of recycler view so recycler view find view by id r dot id dot recycler view we can set uh we can make set has fixed size as a true here so let's just make it true and now we'll start with creating the layout for each item that we want to display in the activity main so I'll, I'll click on the layout and create new layout resource file let's just name it as each item and instead of constraint layout we'll use card view here so card view and inside this we'll have an image view width will be match parent and height will be wrap content let's just give it an id as image view to keep it simple and we can just close it over here and inside the card view we'll make height as a wrap content and we'll give it card corner radius of let's say 10 dp and card elevation of 8 dp and we'll add margin from the top of 10 dp and margin start as 10 dp and now we'll go to the main activity uh, before that we'll just create an adapter for our recycle view so kotlin class file we'll name this as item adapter and inside this we'll pass private val item list of type list of int because we will be using drawables here so yeah uh, if i have added some images in the drawable folder as you can see so just let me just close them and we'll we'll create one inner class for our view holder so class item view holder and inside this we'll pass an item view which will be type of view and this class will inherit from the recycler view dot view holder and inside th this we need to pass an item view and over here we'll just uh, find id of our widget so in the each item we just have an image view and its id is image view so well let's just name it as image view of type image view and we'll use this use this item view to find id of it r dot id dot image view and then we'll inherit this item adapter class from recycler view dot adapter class and in the generic types we need to pass the item view holder class so item view holder we can just take this on the next line now i'll click on this item adapter class and press alt enter to implement methods we'll select uh, these three methods click on ok and inside the on create view holder we need to inflate the layout so we'll create one val sorry val uh, let's just name it as a view equals to layout inflator dot from parent dot context dot inflate r dot layout dot each item comma parent comma attached to root will be false and return item view holder we need to pass the view there so view and then inside the get item count we need to return the size of our list so 
item list dot size and inside the on bind view holder we just need to set data so we'll use this holder dot image view set image resource and item list of the position and yeah so i'll just close this we'll move to the main activity we'll create few variables so private lead in it where item list and this will be type of array list because we will be adding data to it so int and private late in it where we'll create reference for our atom adapter and then inside the init function we need to initialize the item list so item list equals to array list and yeah now we'll set layout to the recycle view so recycle view dot layout manager staggered grid layout manager and inside this we need to specify two parameters first is the spam count so we'll be displaying two images horizontally so spam count will be two and then the uh, another parameter which is the orientation so staggered grid layout manager dot vertical and yeah that's it now we'll add some data to our item list so we can just create another method which will be private fun add to list and inside this item list dot add the int so r dot drawable dot pick one let me just duplicate it and this will be two and we'll call this method over here before passing the list to adapter now we'll uh, initialize our adapter so item adapter equals to item adapter and we need to pass this list so item list then we can set this adapter to our recycle view so recycle view dot adapter equals to item adapter and we'll see it's working or not so let's just try to run the app so i'll click on the run button and we'll see how does our app looks so it is installed and as you can see the images are not taking full width and height so let's just fix that and before that uh, we'll also move to the themes we'll change this as no action bar and this one the status bar color we'll use black color over here and then we'll move to the each item and we forgot to add one property over here so let's just try it adjust view bounds we'll make it true and let's try to run the app again so our app is installed and now it looks cool to me so that's how you can implement the staggered grid layout in recycler view so yeah that's it for this video do subscribe if you like the video and thank you for watching